And welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. As I carry on again into the seventh mission, into the Naval Academy. So I completed this one pretty easy actually. So this time we've got to sink and escape an enemy. So this time we can't just chase it, we've got to actually sink it. So we can actually use weapons this time. Again, light cruiser, two and a half million. Enemies destroy it. This time we've got 26 knots, so we've got an extra knot in speed. We've got 25 minutes time limit. Optimize maneuverability. Plus 50 on engines and boilers. Mixed. Gives a full plethora, full list of bonuses. Oh, enhanced firepower and armor. It's a destroyer. It probably will have torpedoes. So we'll go with mixed technology this time. Okay, so once again we start with a blank hull. Gonna stretch it. Does increase the cost. Three thousand tons. Two thousand four hundred and eight thirteen right now. Nine hundred sixty thousand two three thousand five hundred maximum two thousand seven hundred and two. Twenty six knots we've got to make at least. Got a few bulkheads. So at 28 knots, we've only got two knots superior speed, but uh, we don't need to actually catch them. We need to keep with them, I suppose. Okay, want to reduce weight 4.5 percent down, but this increase more than increase more than doubles the engine cost. Plus 20 percent fuel cost, minus 50 percent fuel storage. Or stowage compound. So we've got Krupp Armor 1, which saves us 25% on all armor, all of the weight. I'm thinking we should be fast enough, really, to be able to avoid things like torpedoes. But just in case, we need fast bulkheads. We can actually have that, but it increases our weight. Gun cock, can we? Uh, yeah, so we'll have Lidite. Should save us a bit of weight once you start in the guns. Range finder, the best one we can fit. So 1.5 build time, it's only a light cruiser. So I think 20 knots may not be fast enough, but we'll fit everything we need to first of all. Not much of a choice. Secondary. 1%. Point 0.1. We'll try and keep them balanced as much as possible. Okay, hands full 120 tons, 31,000. 11,000 cheaper for the standard funnel, but it's the same weight. <laughs> 3,000 tons, we've got 500 tons to spur. Because we can't fit the 7 inch. Yeah, 84 tons. It shouldn't take us over the weight limit, but hmm, I'll go with six inch. Six inch main armament on the bow, one on the stern. I'll go with four inch. Okay, so the cost is slightly higher than it should be. Uh, right, what can we compromise with? 3,303 on tonnage, but we're well over the uh, price. 
Might be another bit. Okay, they should be okay on the bow. Okay, we'll put those on the bow. And on the stern. We haven't got any case, mate, have we? Oh, yes, we have. Just overpriced. Let's bring those down. Yeah, we've only got four inches at the smallest, haven't we? Oh, damn. Yeah, 12 tons, 13,000. We're just 2,000 over. We don't really have anything sort of smaller to go there. Case makes the smallest guns we've got. The ones on that, it's only 4 inches. They're the smallest things we've got there. Can take that off. Take that off. And put. Okay, that's better. So the four, two four inch there, secondary. So we've got no main ammo. The only main ammo we've got. Is on the bow. They're accompanied with those two four inch slightly forward in weight though. Which isn't good. It's got these four inch, these two four inches port and stab and the centre of the stern at four inch. Casemate guns No. Yeah, so the smallest thing we've got is four inch. Can't really be helped. Torpedo launchers. Can we fit two of these? No, we can't. Oh, no, that'd be too much. Okay. Aft is 18.7, so regardless of where we actually put the torpedoes, we're going to be either over cost. Yeah. Damn it. As we get rid of some of these uh, secondaries. Don't think we actually need to. We don't need torpedoes. We're fast enough, so we've got a little bit of weight. Can we increase our speed? No, we can't. So it's not weight, it's now cost. We don't really need that. Go back to that kind thing. Not a huge amount extra. Is it enough? No, 78,000 each. No, we're well over. And the other place we can fit them is, uh, <laughs> no, not on the deck. Ah, oh dear. Yeah, what to do, what to do, what to do. Okay, we'll do without that. Do we actually need Harvey? Could use compound, it should save a little bit of money. It's not a huge amount though, is it? It's not a massive amount. Can't increase speed even at that, no. One point five built out point eight inch built extended point four deck. I've got plenty of tonnage.
but make it can we afford to do that yeah we can 1.5 inch got a two inch two inch build time at one inch deck one is extended deck 1.5 conning tower that's not too good that's a main turret though the secondary will be counted as these turrets they're not really turrets are they we've got a shield at the front that's about it conning tower A 2.5 ship is overweight. Okay, tell you what, you know, we've got one single turret. Well, this counts as the turret armor, and that's this one. And again, it's only a shield. So I think bring this down to 2 inch and increase the turret to two inch that's fine we we'll protect the secondaries a little bit better because they are the main bulk of our firepower that's maximum so six inch maximum to it top protect that a little bit better if we can afford to one inch yeah i think that's about it so we've got no torpedoes though, we're relying on guns and speed to keep up the way of the uh, destroyer's inevitable salvo of torpedoes going to be launched at us. So we shall have to keep an eye out for those. Okay, let's head into the battle. Okay, so for this battle we represent the Empire of Japan with our light cruiser up against a two-funnel German destroyer. Wow, straight away. Sea torpedoes. Yep, that's where we're turning. Can we? Oh, she's on fire. I actually forgot to check, I don't remember if it just said uh, if the enemy is going to ret retreat or not. inch mains and three inch secondaries seventy two percent structure and dropping quite rapidly it's making smoke okay let's try and chase her down Scored three hits and does six hundred and forty nine damage. Yeah, so sometimes when the battle starts you don't have a, a, a single second to respond before they actually hit you. No, they're there. Yes, yeah, so we've got minus thirty five point three percent on Accuracy because of Holt stability in tower. Just here. There's nothing we can really do about that except just get rid of all the guns off the bow, which is a bit of a strange configuration for a ship. And to the stern, we shouldn't have to worry about torpedoes. She's got four, so I'm guessing she's got increased torpedo load 
on port and starboard tubes. Single tube on each side. And she's capable of... Yeah, 26 knots. 900 tons. 1.1 to 1.5 inch armour. We've got straight, strange sort of configuration on our own armour. We've got one point... What was it again? 1 to 1.6 to 0.6 to 6 inches. Which is very strange. It's got thicker armour on the uh, tower and the uh, turrets than we have at the belt. That's a hit, 77, 100. She's trying to turn. She might be trying to turn on to use the torpedoes on us. It's pretty slow loading. Still only 3.2. Okay, 9.7. An accuracy. Let's try to another torpedo. Try and keep a guessing as to which way we're going to be going. Destroy torpedo, but which one? Can't really tell. She's well on fire, though. a thousand points of damage 926 for 13 hits Almost loaded a torpedo. And of course, in the smoke bank, I'm betting that we can't see torpedoes as easily. Yeah, so she's turning. At least the wake shows that she's turning, yeah. So she's turning around this way. Oh, on fire again. That might be it. Not 64% structure still remaining. Oh, not for long. 36 now. So it's torpedo tube we took out. I think that's it. Yep, that is it. So that's enemy destroyer sunk. There we go. Due to heavy flooding. <laughs> 